Hello, this is Kim Huat, Singapore number one exercise fan. Recently, I took up running. Yes, uh, I'm a cyclist la, actually, but uh, now I want to try the running because I inspired la, by my fitspo friend, Mr. Miyaki. La. He go and join the, the marathon recently. He showed me his photo. Uh, he ran the half marathon and he trained very hard for it. Uh, so I was very inspired. So I went to the park nearby. I decided today I will run. So uh, I ran a shorter distance, uh, not, not half marathon, uh, not, not 21 kilometer, uh, just 2.4 kilometer. Yeah, yeah, much shorter. But starting must less ambitious. Uh, how long time did I run? Uh, so I, I thought 2.4 is a good number uh, because you know we, we grow up. Uh, uh, school also 2.4, uh, go NS also 2.4. It's a very default kind of uh, uh, distance. Uh. So my goal was to run the 2.4, don't stop, don't walk, just try to finish it uh, and not die. Uh. Uh, I am pleased to inform you that uh, I was successful in not dying. Uh. Yeah, uh, just finish the, the 2.4 run. Uh, and of course, I got warm up before that. Uh, and I ran without stopping. Uh. Uh, first 100 meter was quite okay. Uh. Then after that, a bit tired. Uh. Yeah. But uh, uh, the timing, don't say. Uh. If I told you the timing, it's not gold, it's not bronze, it's not even like, like pass. Uh. It's a fail time uh, for my age group. Uh. But uh, I think for my age group, uh, uh, who never run before for a long time, uh, then can complete 2.4 in, in this way, uh, means not die, uh, is already a win. Uh. So I was quite happy with the results. I think my next goal, maybe next year, I go and join marathon or something. Uh, uh, if I don't, I'll delete this video uh, so that there's no evidence I said that. Uh. But uh, I, I saw a lot of people join the marathon, uh, but I, I, I wouldn't run in Singapore uh, because very hot. Uh. Yeah, uh, it's so hot in Singapore, right? It's either you sweat like a dog they have to run at 4 a.m. in the morning to, to, to be even halfway reasonable weather. Or you cannot caught in the rain. Huh? Then halfway, it rain or thunderstorm, then you run, become swimming instead of running competition. I, I think no. I'm I thinking of trying overseas, la, as skill la, to go other country, run in winter or something. Uh, but much training. La. Because I heard, la, not just people cannot cram here, cram there. La. Huh? Uh... The nipples, uh, the, the nene pop, uh, also pain, uh, swollen. Uh. What wow, eh? So serious. Uh. Uh, you run marathon, run until your nene pop is, uh, is a pain. Uh. It's a swollen. Uh. Rubbing, is it? Wow. Oh, is there an anti nene pop pain t shirt or not for marathon? Is there such a thing? Uh, it must be very painful. Eh. Uh, especially uh, if, uh, if you are a guy uh, and. and you very muscular, then your t-shirt very tight, huh? All the time. So must not just train your body to be strong or your legs to be strong, I think. I think you need to train your nene pot to be strong. To resist getting swollen and painful. Right. Singapore cannot run topless, right? Is it? Not allowed, right? At least at the marathon I didn't see anybody doing that. But anyway, I I I'm thinking next year maybe can try. Do they have like uh uh, quarter marathon or maybe one eighth one eighth marathon uh. not too ambitious yeah yeah maybe I should buy ultra watch